In this video, we're going to look at how to use the cosine rule to find a missing angle. Now, with any trig formula question, what you've got to do is make sure that you choose the right uh, equation. Now, you use the cosine rule to find a missing angle when you're given all three sides. Okay, so you're going to be given all three sides. And once you are given all three sides, you can find any angle you wish. Now, the cosine rule says that the cos of the angle A is B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Okay, that will be given to you in your formula sheet at National 5, and that is something that you need to be able to use. Okay, one thing that I want to draw your attention to is when you are doing this, that make sure that it's a side opposite the angle you're looking for. So if you're looking for angle A, you want to find cos A, the side that you end up taking away, or the square of the side that you end up taking away is always the side that's opposite the angle, okay? The order of the other two doesn't matter in the top part of your formula or in the bottom, but it's crucial that you get this right. It has to be the side that's opposite the angle that you're taking away, okay? So let's look at a few examples and we'll see how we get on, okay? So, if we have a look at this uh, triangle here, we're asked to find angle A. So, <clears throat> let's start off by saying what cos A is equal to. Cos A is equal to 5 squared plus 11 squared minus 9 squared. Notice that the 9 here is opposite our angle. Okay, and you're dividing then by 2BC, so 2 times 5 times 11. Okay, now what I would do on the calculator is do the top part, first of all, press equals, okay? That then keeps the whole top uh, part of your formula together. Once you've done that, then divide by everything you've got here, but make sure you put in brackets. That way you make sure that you don't end up, uh, or that your calculator doesn't end up misinterpreting what you mean. Once you do that, you find that cos A is 0 0.59 and inverse cos of that is what's going to give you your angle. So you inverse cos what you get. Now although I've rounded it here just leave it on your calculator screen unrounded and you end up then to one decimal place with an answer of 53.8 degrees. Okay let's have a look at another example. This time we're looking to find uh, angle B and notice that across from angle B is the side that's 5 meters long, so that's what you're going to take away. So you can start off by saying cos of your angle okay, is going to be this squared plus this squared. So we'll say 8 squared plus 7 squared minus 5 squared, because 5 is across from our angle. And we then divide by 2 times BC, so in this case 8 times 7 or 7 times 8, whatever order you have it in. Again, do this bit in your calculator first of all, press equals, make sure it's all together, and then divide by your bottom uh, part here, all in brackets, and you end up with an answer that cos B is equal to 0 0.79. Okay, now you want the angle B obviously, so B is going to be inverse cos of what you had in your calculator, unbounded, and that gives you to one decimal place. 38.2 degrees. Okay. Now here's a qu question for you to try yourselves. Uh, so have a bash at it, pause the video, and see how you get on. Okay, so this time we're looking for angle X. Across from angle X is this side here, which is 11 mil. That's the side you're going to end up subtracting in your formula. So we'll say cos of our angle, so cos of X, it's going to be this squared plus this squared, so 8 squared plus 4 squared minus 11 squared. We then divide everything by 2BC, so 2 times 8 times 4. With brackets around it, work that out in the calculator. You end up with cos of your angle being negative 0 0.64. Okay, you want your angle, so you say x is going to be inverse cos of negative 0 0.64 and so on. 
although you've rounded it on paper, don't round it on your calculator, and you work that out to give you, uh, to one decimal place, an angle of 129.8 degrees. Okay, and that looks in proportion to the rest of the triangle, that looks accurate, and that's uh, how you use the cosine rule to find a missing angle. Okay, so the formula is given to you, make sure that you copy it down correctly, and make sure that the side you end up taking away is the one that's opposite the angle you are looking for. If you get the order wrong, then you're going to find another angle. Okay, so I hope that was helpful, and uh, I hope that you will now be able to do uh, these kind of questions.